hello guys and welcome to the channel i have a very quick video today i just want to touch base on something which uh, if i check the comment section on, on most of my recent videos you guys have asked that same question time without number so most of you guys wanted to know the impact of the war going on between russia and ukraine when it comes to the forex market most of you guys have even asked if they should just stop trading for now or if they should just wait for maybe a couple of months before they can trade again remember let me just tell you guys this story remember last year when i made the video i think that video is somewhere on the channel when i made a video last year uh about uh remember when i made a video last year about how much i made in 2021 90 percent of that money was made at the heart of covid all right 90 percent of that money was made at the heart of covid 19. that is just to tell you whether there is a pandemic or not in short anytime there is a disaster there is a pandemic there is war there is a natural disaster and stops like that that is the highest time you as a forex trader can make money if you know what you're doing let me explain all right let me explain you need to understand that we have different types of traders we have forex traders we have commodity traders we have stock traders we have indices traders we have meta traders we have all type of traders and all these traders are divided into two categories we have what we call digital traders and physical traders digital traders are retail traders like us right digital traders are people like us people like us who we do our trading strictly online using trading tools through our broker we do our trading strictly on our computer reading the quotes we see on our computer so we do our own trading digi digitally right so on the other part we have what we call uh, uh we actually have what we call physical traders physical traders are actually traders that, okay if you actually call yourself a physical trader it means you're actually going to buy that physical product ship that physical product to another country or maybe f uh, ship that a uh, physical product to another state or maybe ship it physically to someone okay an example of a physical trader can be someone who is physically involved in maybe trading oil with russia or maybe trading in minerals with russia where you are actually involved in, in that physical product that is somebody who will be directly that is somebody who will be directly affected by the war somebody maybe you you, you, you deal with import and export you deal with uh, uh, liquidations of company that actually deal with physical product those are people that will be affected directly with this war Maybe you were buying your product from Russia and you are shipping to South Africa, or maybe you were from South Africa, you were shipping products to Russia, or maybe from UK, you were shipping products to America that need to pass through Russia, and now they've banned them from many things. They've banned them from the Swiss from the Swift system. They banned them from from they can't even land their plane on their planes on different airports. So because of that, you are going to be affected. You who, who deals with physical product, you are the one who is going to be affected. But somebody like me that I deal with online trading, somebody like me that I deal with digital trading, I'm not going to be affected in any way because anything I need to be able to make my decision on that particular uh, uh, trade, anything I need to be able to make my decision to buy or sell that particular commodity or that particular uh, forex currency pair is on my chart. I can see everything on my chart. Uh, even before, even before COVID, even before, uh, uh, even before the war started between Russia and Ukraine. If you were somebody who was an expert in forex trading, you could start seeing on your chart that something is very eminent to happen. You could start seeing on your chart that this part, the patterns that were forming, something big was coming. All right. So by that time, you just start getting yourself, you start preparing yourself in a way that you can be able to capitalize, in a way that you can be able to take advantage, you can be able to leverage. So as a forex trader, this is instead the highest time you can make money. Like I just like I told you guys last year, if I made let's just say if I made one thousand dollars profit last year from forex, I'm just or let's just say if I made one million dollar profit from forex last year, ninety percent of that money was at the heart of COVID. All right. So as a forex trader, anytime there's a pandemic or there's a natural disaster or maybe there is war or different. Remember when you are trading when you are trading forex, you are actually trading different economies. If I'm trading Great Britain pound USD, I'm trading the Great Britain pound and I'm trading the United States uh, economy. Those are the two different economies that I'm trading. So anything that is happening within that two economy is going to obviously affect that currency pair. 
but I can see everything that is happening on my chart. And if I have that knowledge, if I have that experience, I'll be able to leverage that. I'll be able to use that as my leverage. The highest thing that is going to pay you in Forex, the highest thing that is going to make you get a lot of profit or make a lot of money in Forex is when you have something you can always leverage, all right? Is when you have something you can always leverage. So long as you have something you can always leverage on, it is always going to give you an advantage so you guys shouldn't worry so long as you are an electronic in short everybody asking me that so long as you are trading forex online you have a, a, a you have an account through a broker you are trading electronically without actually involved in physical products like maybe you are shipping containers from russia or maybe shipping containers from the uk or from ukraine or from america if you are not involved in physical uh, trading in physical trading then you have nothing to worry you should instead be happy not being happy that is war but being happy that you can leverage the the patterns you're going to see on your chart if you have that experience i remember i think two days ago uh i made a video where i showed you guys strategies i showed you one of those strategies one of those strategies i think was the gap strategy before 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 the market even opened on monday i already made almost about 500 pips Please, if you haven't watched that video, just go back and watch the live video. I, I did, I think it was a live video. So if you haven't watched that video, just go back and watch that live video. I showed you guys live how I was able to make almost about 500 pips even before the market, by the, by the opening of the market on Monday. Because of what? Because of the war that was going on. Because of the war, because I was trying to capitalize, because I capitalized on that. I knew what was supposed to happen. And even though the market was close over the weekend i anticipated what was going to happen by the time the market was opening on sunday night and as soon as the market opened on sunday night i capitalized on that and i made almost about 500 pips the whole of this week I, i've just been relaxing even today i think today is nfp but i'm not sure i'm not going to trade nfp i'm not going to be wondering myself to look for quick profit to look for quick pips when i've already made enough even before the week started so just, I'm just say, saying this so that you guys can understand. Maybe uh, my NFP, I always share my results with you guys. I always share my trades with you guys. But I'm not sure. I'm not going to take NFP today. All right? There are always going to be opportunities. So you, even though there are already strategies on the channel that you can use to trade NFP, I particularly, I wouldn't be participating in, F, in, in NFT today because I already, made, I already made my target even before the market opened on monday so the only conclusion i'm just going to give you guys here so long as you are a retail trader so long even if you are trading for a firm or for a bank so long as you are trading electronically if prices if people who are dealing with physical trading affect the price of currencies you're going to be able to see that on your chart you're going to be able to see the patterns on your chart and with the tools that you have you'll be able to leverage on that you'll be able to capitalize on that and that will give you uh, an edge that will give you an advantage to instead make more money in forex trading so instead of it being a disadvantage instead of it being a con this is instead a pro this is instead an advantage for you to make money in forex trading so for every for all all you guys who have been writing on my comment section and asking if this is the right time to trade or if this is the right time for you to just stay out of the market and stuff no this is instead the highest time for you to make money the highest time the highest time i made money last year was when there was a disaster when there was a pandemic when there was a natural occurrence when there was covid all right so anytime there is something like that you should be able to ask yourself you should be able to have strategies that's why i have technical strategies i have fundamental strategies i have sentiment sentimental strategies i have all strategies that help me to be able to trade any kind of market condition because as a forex trader you need to be very very flexible you need to be very very flexible in such a way that if this strategy is not working you can easily adapt to this if this strategy is not more working you can easily make changes because the forex market is always going to be changing so the strategy that was working yesterday there's no guarantee that it's going to work tomorrow all right so once you already have that mentality you're going to be able to have multiple strategies that even if there is war or no war covid or no covid natural pandemic or no pandemic you're still going to be able to have a strategy that will still be making you money day in day out so that was just something i wanted to point to point out to make you guys know that just play just just stay cool calm down calm down you calm down yourself be in the zone trading in the zone that is why i always say trading in the zone be in the zone with the market and this is the highest time you're going to make a lot of money 
in forex trading make sure you smash the like button on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so check the links on the video description to be able to use the same broker i use to be able to book one-on-one -on -one session with me join uh, uh, my forex uh, community or even just join my telegram free uh, to, or to even just join my telegram free channel make sure you stay safe stay profitable and i'll see you guys on the next video peace